Welcome to day 19 of the 25 days of prayer for Advent. One of the things that I love about Christmas time is the traditions that we keep year after year. With our family, we go to the Nutcracker and we see the ballet performed every year. It's a fond memory and tradition that we keep and that I love. Um, my sister-in-law recently shared with me that one of her favorite traditions was decorating the Christmas tree with the kids and putting up the little ornaments where sometimes the kids would put them all in one little area of the tree. Um, my kids do the same. But she shared with me how she was a little sad this year that the kids are getting older and they have other things and they didn't decorate the Christmas tree with her this year. Not because they didn't want to, but because they were having a hard time finding the time. And so she just did it herself. And it made me think, I'm so grateful to God that he is a promise keeper and that he doesn't change. If he says he's going to do it, he will fulfill it. Um, he did this with Jesus. He prophesied through the prophet Isaiah. He basically used Isaiah as a mouthpiece to say, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to fulfill for the world. And so what he said to Isaiah and through Isaiah is that he was going to send a savior in the form of a baby. And they didn't really understand that. But thousands of years later, what we can see, and thousands of years after Jesus was born, is that God's word was fulfilled. Because he is consistent. He's a promise keeper. And when he says he's going to do something, he will. So today's prayer is one of thanksgiving for that. Dear God, thank you that you do not change and that when you say you're going to do something, you do. That you always fulfill what you have planned. Thank you for being a promise keeper and for sending your son Jesus for us. And in his precious and holy name, we pray. Amen. Today's scripture is from Isaiah 55, 9 through 11. It's a little bit of a long one, but I love it, so I have to read the whole thing to you. Just bear with me. It's like poetry. <laughs> For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. This is God speaking through Isaiah. The rain and the snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. It is the same with my word, says the Lord. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to do and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Thanks for joining me.